Hello, I am Naoki Chigusa, CEO of One of World Association of Nuclear Operators. Today, I am with Mr. Nejati Yamachi, CEO of a Turkey Nuclear Energy Company, one of One of the newest members. I'm very happy to uh, inform you the you know interview with Mr. Nejati Yamachi today. Thank you very much. You are coming. And as a new member of one of communities, can you say a bit about the you know your company? Uh, what are your goals and your plans for the future? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for hosting me. In order to answer your question, it's really important to mention about the Turkish nuclear energy plan before uh, going into the detail about the, our company's future plan. So as you know, Turkey is heavily dependent on foreign energy sources. So in this sense, nuclear is inevitable option for Turkey. Uh, in this picture, uh, Turkey is trying to have a first grid connection for Aku MPV project in the near future. For SNOP and for the third MPB project, we are uh, negotiating with potential investors. Uh, in this uh, nuclear business, Tunash is having a big responsibilities for being the future own owner and operator. In this sense, we are seeing nuclear not only as electricity protection, but also having a, a big capacity for nuclear industry, for the local human resources. So we are trying to develop local industrial, local technological uh, infrastructure and human resource capacity as well. And also uh, Tunash as a company is uh, trying to make analysis about the SMR reactor types and the fortune reactor uh, technologies in order to answer the question of which reactor type is best suited for the Turkish needs. So in this sense, our colleagues are make analysis, technical analysis mm -hmm. of understand which reactor type is best for, for uh, Turkish nuclear uh, energy needs. So uh, in order to uh, answer the, uh, this question, I have to add uh, the corporate capacity development of Tunash. We are developing lots of um, uh, documents to, to, to enhance our capacity. First of all, we are uh, producing integrated management system document, reactive technology assessment methodology, CKS matrix and all this requirement. Lots of uh, corporate uh, development activities continuing uh, to prepare ourselves for the future. So uh, Tunash is preparing itself for the hard working for the future MPP project. Uh, also, we are seeing uh, that, that our role is uh, really big uh, for the Turkish energy need in the near future. I believe that uh, overcoming all of these uh, big challenges, Tunash established in 2015, and also our company is having uh, more than 80 staff, and the 50% of our staff is having master degree, and they are quite young, intelligent, mm -hmm. and hardworking. Oh, this is a very uh, interesting. Uh, it is exciting to be at the for forefront of a growing nuclear program. Mm -hmm. It's okay. a very big project in the Turkey and also the very, very large uh, area you have to cover from now on. Thank you. Thank you. That's good uh, uh, information. And then Tunas became a WANOS member in July 2020s, and then you have already participated in a number of WANOS. Uh, the U new unit assistance mm -hmm. missions. Mm -hmm. As it, uh, newcomers to the industry, uh, what benefit mm -hmm. have you seen from this involvement with WANO's activity? Mm -hmm. As soon as we joined WANO in uh, 2020 uh, as category 5, we are utilizing new unit assistance program. Also, we are re receiving member support mission. In this sense, we are participating in WANO's uh, seminars, workshop. Mm -hmm training programs and also we are receiving lots of uh, trainings. I'd like to give you some examples of uh, trainings. We received nuclear safety culture training. Based on this training, we developed the roadmap, uh, the adjusted uh, to national corporate needs, and also we set up nuclear safety commission. 
Uh, in addition to that, we uh, created our, our roadmap and the nuclear safety culture model. Uh, in addition to nuclear safety culture training, also we received roadmap to operation readiness um, training. Based on this training, we are trying to develop operational model uh, for Tunash, and also we are planning to set up the operational readiness department based on your recommendation. And uh, moreover, we also received a significant operating experience report training. Based on this training, we are trying to prepare implementation roadmap and it was quite uh, useful and comprehensive. We are in intended to continue receiving this kind of training uh, program. So, uh, in addition to the training program, we are also uh, having a services of one or uh, to review our document. We prepared lots of uh, documents to make sure that it's in line with the global standard. So we shared integrated management system program with yourself and also owners requirement, reactor technology assessment methodology, skills matrix, nuclear industrial platform, technology uh, training center. So those of documents shared uh, by us uh, and then we received lots of feedback from your side. It was uh, good uh, and useful. We utilize your feedback. When we look at the one um, mission uh, that is uh, trying to maximize nuclear safety and reliability, um, and they're trying to uh, trying to utilize the, the best examples and the knowledge sharing and uh, information. So one has been uh, environment for us to share knowledge, experience, best examples. So as a newcomer country, what uh, one is offering is what we needed. So that's why we really appreciate one's effort. Thank you very much for supporting us and helping uh, our, our need. Yeah, great pleasure. Thank you very much. And then um, looking ahead, I think that from now on is the you know, very exciting uh, journey. But what kinds of uh, support do you expect uh, from uh, WANO and uh, from uh, global communities of nuclear operators? As I, as I mentioned, WANO is uh, offering a pre-startup peer review program. Uh, this program is um, limited to pre-operational period. What we are expecting from WANO is to extend this program to include construction and preparation period. If one is going to uh, include this for P PSUR, then we will be more than happy. And then other uh, expectation is that the more newcomer countries, the more new experience that we can utilize. So we are expecting one or to increase the number of newcomers uh, to share the experience that we can diversify our um, best examples and experiences. So last but not least, um, they, they want to develop nuclear safety culture model. Um, there are various national cultures, cultural differences. I think each culture uh, should be adjusting this one model based on their own culture. So that they, let me give you an example. The, there are some attributes that you develop that you are expecting from nuclear safety culture model. It's creating environment for the, the raising concern, questioning attitude, problem identification, resolution and reporting. So when we look at the Eastern and Western national cultures, this ideal model uh, should be uh, studied. How can we assure that this question attitude, raising concern and want will be there. So this is another area of uh, expertise that the Devano will study and it will need some effort. And then this is the uh, last expectation from us, from Vano. Mm. Yeah, thank you very much. Indeed, uh, Mr. Yamachi, I am also the very energized uh, by you. your very strong message. Thank On behalf of the World Association of Nuclear Operators, WANO, our global members, uh, we look forward to working with you and TUNAS mm -hmm. as you uh, develop your nuclear power program. Mm -hmm. Again, thank you very much thank indeed you, today. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.